We're going to continue exploring building applications with Elm's graphics capabilities. To facilitate this exploration, we'll build a small application and extend it, an Etch-a-Sketch. Let's get started. We'll start off by kicking off a new application. We're going to simulate an Etch-a-Sketch. Consequently, we know we need to bring in graphics, color, and the keyboard. Next, let's identify the model. An Etch-a-Sketch has a current drawing, which is a list of points, and the current X and Y position for the head, where a point is just a two-tuple of ints. Our initial model will have a single point in the middle, and the head will be in the middle of the canvas. Our view will just be a traced path along those points. Drawline is a function that takes a list of points and produces a traced path along them. Our points are integers, but a path needs a list of floats. We'll make function to turn a two-tuple of ints into a two-tuple of floats. Then we'll map our points across that function. Finally, we'll trace that list of points in solid red. Our model function will be a fold across our initial model with the signal of arrow values. So we'll use signal.foldp, we'll fold across update, we'll start off with our initial model, and we'll use keyboard.arrows for our signal. So keyboard.arrows is a signal of a map with x and y values. If the right arrow key is depressed, the x value is 1. If the left key is depressed, the x value is negative 1. Otherwise it has a value of 0. Y works the same way. We fold across that signal and the initial model function through our update function. What should our update function look like? We know it takes a map of x and y ints and our model and produces a new model. We'll go ahead and get new values for the model's x and y position after these arrow presses take effect. Then we'll return a new model. We'll update the points to include the new point at the front of the list. And we'll update the x and y for the model. With that, we've modeled everything fundamental about an Etch-a-Sketch. The main function is a trivial map across our model and the view function. With that, it should all just work. Let's fire up the reactor and find out. We'll open it up. We'll try it out. And it works. Right now you have to press the key and release it every time you want the update function to fire because it's a signal of the key press changes. But it's completely usable. So that's it. In 60 lines of code, including spacing and type annotations, we've got a functioning Etch-a-Sketch in the browser. In the next few episodes, we'll add some features and see how to evolve a simple prototype like this to include more interesting functionality. See you soon!